The Sony ZV-1F might be the best camera for vlogging, content creation, and everyday casual use. And Sony wants it to replace your phone, while also being less than half the price of the iPhone. But can it really? So let's see how the ZV-1F delivers in terms of image quality and design. And how does it compare to the brand new iPhone 14 Pro that it's trying to replace? And don't forget to check out the links in the description down below for the best pricing on all camera gear. So how does Sony plan to replace your phone? And I think it really comes down to design and making the Sony ZV-1F easier to use than your iPhone. First of all, it's extremely lightweight and compact. The Sony ZV-1F is only 256 grams, which is pretty close to the iPhone's 149 grams. And it's not that much bigger in size. This is about as much work or a hassle to take around with you as your cell phone. The small size of the Sony ZV-1F makes it perfect for vloggers and travelers. And the physical design of the Sony ZV-1F is really, really simple, which is especially good if you're a beginner. There's zero complicated dials or knobs on the ZV-1. There's one button to toggle between photo, video, and slow motion, and a scroll wheel to change your shutter and aperture. And it also has the classic Sony quick menu, but with this camera, it's also now touch enabled. So you can simply operate almost everything on this camera that you would need to change on a regular basis simply through the touch screen on the back. And before you ask, it does have a side articulating screen so you can see yourself. Plus, my new favorite thing about this camera and most Sony cameras is that they massively updated the wireless transfer technology in their cameras. You can easily wirelessly transfer both photos and videos from your camera straight to your phone. It's pretty seamless and it almost makes your camera feel like it's part of your phone. But what really surprised me about the Sony ZV-1 is that the startup time is only about two seconds, which is roughly the same time it takes to pick up your phone and open up the camera app. Also, while it's not included, I highly recommend picking up the Sony vlogging handle. It works as a wireless remote for this Sony camera and any other Sony cameras you own, but it also works as a tripod. So you can easily set your camera down anywhere you want and quickly record. However, if you're mainly using your phone as your main camera, I think a lot of the things that you guys will love about the Sony ZV-1F are the things under the hood. And it has the perfect lens for vlogging, content creation, traveling, casual use. I love the lens on this camera. So let's take a look and see how this camera actually looks and what electronics are inside. In terms of technology, it has a 20 megapixel one inch sensor, which is over twice the size of your cell phone sensor. So naturally, you're going to get better images and videos in terms of quality alone. Most cell phones have a much smaller 12 megapixel sensor that really doesn't compete with this. But let's talk about the lens because I'm really excited to check that out. This is the Sony 20 millimeters F1.8 lens and I paid about $1,500 for it. And in my opinion, this is the perfect vlogging lens, perfect travel lens, perfect content creation lens because it's wide enough to show what's around you for your audience, but it's also not too wide that it makes it kind of look like a GoPro. And the Sony ZV-1 has a 20 millimeter f2.0 lens. This has the exact same field of view as the Sony lens that I paid $1,500 for. The Sony ZV-1 lens is really sharp and it's also much better than the entry level kit lens. And also you get that wide 20 millimeter focal length. And the 20 millimeter wide focal length is exactly what you need for full body shots in vertical mode. I see you TikTok. So if you're a vlogger, content creator, TikToker, this lens is perfect for that specific purpose. Also, this lens naturally gives you the blurry background effect and superb image quality in dim lighting thanks to the f2.0 aperture. Basically, that means this lens can let in a lot of light. The only downside of this lens is that it is a fixed lens, which means you cannot change this up with other lenses. And because it's a fixed lens, it also cannot zoom in and out. However, the ZV-1F does have a digital zoom in for 1.5 times on video mode and two times in photo mode. The ZV line of cameras have a really unique feature that I haven't really seen anyone else do besides iPhone and that's to add a digital blurry background. It's similar to what the iPhone Pro does, but in my opinion, Sony does it a lot better. The iPhone digital blur can look a bit fake and it's also pretty distracting because it's very obviously fake, but Sony cameras make it very subtle and I think it does a much better job. So how are the photos and videos from the ZV-1F? In terms of photos, I have to say, I am a little bit disappointed, but it's not for the reasons you think. The photos from the ZV-1F are crisp and look just as good as a much more expensive entry-level camera. And in my opinion, they also look better than the iPhone 14. The ZV-1F also has brand new creative looks built in that also give it an edge. And I know what you're gonna say, creative filters in most cameras look like hot garbage, but the ZV-1F is the one exception to that rule. The colors that the ZV-1F gives you with the creative filters are really unique and they almost make your photos look like they were already edited. So if you're someone that doesn't like to edit, this is going to save you a ton of time. And the creative filters in camera look so much better than the Visco, Instagram, or TikTok filters. 
and you can also use them for video. The coolest things about the photos is that it shoots 16 frames per second. That is ridiculously fast, and you can easily do sports or car photography with this camera. It's fast enough to catch any kind of fast moving action. But there's bad news, and this is why I'm kind of disappointed in the ZV-1F. It only shoots JPEG format. There is no option for professional RAW photos. If you don't know what RAW is, it's a file format that gives you a ton of flexibility with your colors and exposure, so even if you have a shot that's too dark, too bright, you can always fix it in editing. But with this, it's only JPEGs. Which is where I think the brand new iPhone 14 Pro does have an edge because the iPhone 14 Pro does allow you to shoot raw photos and the main camera is also 48 megapixels. But the image quality in the ZV-1F is more than enough for Instagram and YouTube thumbnails. YouTube thumbnails, the bane of my existence. All right, now video is why I'm personally excited about this camera and probably why you are too. I've always wanted something small enough to fit in my pocket that can also shoot high-end video and I don't want it to be my phone. The Sony ZV-1F shoots beautiful, sharp, 4K and HD video at 24 and 30 frames per second. Compared to the iPhone, it does look very similar, but if you zoom in, you can see that the ZV-1F holds a lot more detail because of that larger sensor. And as a vlog camera, I think it definitely looks better than the front-facing camera of the 14 Pro, even with cinematic mode. So let's do a vlog test. All right, guys, so we're doing a vlogging test between the iPhone 14 Pro and the ZV-1F. As you can tell, the iPhone 14 Pro doesn't look bad, but I find the ZV-1F just looks sharper and a little bit more crisp. The iPhone 14 Pro almost looks a little bit soft, probably because it is evening time, and I specifically shot this part of the video in the evening time. I wanted to put these cameras in a challenging lighting environment. And also, this is the audio from the iPhone 14 Pro, and this is the audio from the ZV-1F. Let me know in the comments down below which camera you guys prefer and which one you guys like the audio from. And the audio from the onboard microphone is shockingly good and much better than the iPhone audio. But the ZV-1F does have an input for external microphones like a shotgun mic or a wireless lav. On top of that, the ZV-1F also has slow motion modes. It shoots 120 frames per second for five times slow motion in full HD and 60 frames per second for two times slow motion. I'm a big fan of slow motion and I think used properly, it can really make special moments feel epic. And the Sony ZV-1F does have S-Log2 and HGL for my friends who like to color grade and create a stylized look. But the ZV-1F is also only 8-bit color, so it won't really compete with a proper professional camera. For 98% of people using this camera, I actually recommend using the creative filters built into this camera. It will be a lot easier to get good colors, but also, this camera really can't be pushed that far in terms of colors. However, I should mention that the iPhone does shoot 10-bit Pro Res, and if you are someone that likes to color grade their photos, this will actually give you a lot more latitude and flexibility with your colors. So let me ask you the big question. Is the Sony ZV-1F worth it and can it actually replace your iPhone camera? Well, the truth is you're never going to get rid of your phone. You're always going to want to have one on you. But if you're going to buy a $1,500, $2,000 iPhone just for the camera, I think the ZV-1F is a much better use of your money. The ZV-1F without a doubt has better quality photos, better quality video, the lens is better, you're going to get a faster aperture. Everything about the ZV-1F is better than the iPhone camera. The ZV-1F simply blows the iPhone out of the water. And if you're a casual user, I think you'll still find a ton of benefit from shooting on a proper camera. Not only does it have superior image quality, but I think most of us spend way too much time on our phone as it is. And shooting on a proper camera personally helps me stay in the moment. So whether you're shooting casually or creating content, if you guys wanna learn more about the Sony ZV-1, make sure to check out the links in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.